Hello you guys, I'm back with another video and what this video is going to be about is how much I am currently making. So go ahead and subscribe, share and like if you haven't followed the channel. Um, and yeah, let's get straight into it. So I am currently now making 45 an hour as an LVN. Applaud to me. Um, that's actually the highest I've ever been. I mean, I've been at 48, but it was due to hazardous pay and COVID which I was getting 38 and then a $10 difference. So now I'm currently just making that as a, as an LVN. So, and currently almost done with nursing school, about 42 days left, so applaud to me. Um, so at this point, the money wasn't um, a goal anymore as it used to be when I first started as an LVN. Um, but I wanted to give you guys some tips, so let's just get into it. Some, so some tips to increase your pay, and they're gonna be really good tips, so please pay attention and write them down. Okay, number one, the first tip is to be the best nurse is as you can be and learn all of the positions that you're able to learn as an LVN or as any nurse in particular. It will help you increase your pay in many ways and I'm gonna get into it. So what I did since I was a new grad, I always said this and I hope you guys jot this down and I should make this a saying. So uh, I am a new nurse, but I am willing to learn, okay? I've always been like that. Even though if I don't know something, I'm not, I, I don't think I'm embarrassed to either be the first one to ask a question or, or ask like why, okay? Like, why is it that like that happens, okay? Or like if someone knows something, I'm not, or if I don't know something, I don't, I'd rather ask or I'd rather learn why, like I don't know it, okay? So I'm like, oh, why does that work? Because like, if, as long as I know that later on, I won't get it wrong or like at least I know it now, if that makes sense. So I'm always, I always been kind of like, I'm willing to ask why. And nurses will love you for that and that will help you get further, okay? Um, I also learned wound care. At the time I asked to be wound care, I tried to do admissions, which at the time, or we still can, LVNs shouldn't be doing missions, but you can learn them and assist. And that will help you so much more. Um, being a desk nurse, okay? Okay, being a desk nurse will get you so far because you learn how to do labs, learn how to talk to doctors, learn how to assist your nurses, learn how to communicate with family members. So just so much things you can do that will help you increase your pay. Um, number two, um, number two thing that will help you is don't burn your bridges. I think a lot of nurses don't understand this, but a lot of people burn their bridges. And I will not lie, have I burned bridges? I have at the when I was younger, I, you know, and this is just the skill nursing um, drama. Uh, I've gotten into some drama with some nurses. I can't lie, which I was young and ashamed of. Um, there's some nurses I wish I apologized to, which I've apologized to a lot of them, and actually I'm really good friends with some more of them now. Um, but I, I think um, don't burn your bridges, and I haven't burned honestly any of them. I, I just I might actually have, but. I, like I said, I apologize, so, but it has gotten me where I'm at now, okay? Um, and let me tell you where I started. I started at 21.50 an hour, okay? That was four years ago or five when I was 21. Um, so, and then I went up to 25 an hour. My first time getting a job at 25 an hour, um, it was great. And then I went to 26 and then I went to 28.50 and then to 30 and then 38 and then 45. So as you see, I doubled my worth or more actually in the last five years as an LVN. I'm not getting about to finish my bachelor's. Um, but what I'm saying is what got me to 30 to 38 was not burning my bridges and being a good a nurse. And by you doing that number one thing I asked you guys to do, it's gonna help you number two get that higher rate because if someone quits and they know you're a great nurse, honestly, whether they like you or not, for the most part, they're gonna wanna hire you, okay? Because if you're a good nurse, you're liable. They know they can count on you. They know that you're gonna get stuff done and they know you're not gonna not need a lot of help. Number three, I've always said that as a nurse and as an LVN, I've learned this and uh, I've always made it a goal for myself is be the most independent nurse that you can be. I'm not saying there's always time to do everything yourself and don't ask for help. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is you should learn every job as best as you can. So in case you're alone, you're ready. In case you in case you decide to be a registry nurse and you move to different locations, like I have at one point recently actually, and um, if, if, if no one wants to help me, I'm okay. I can handle it. 
people. And so, uh, like, I know how to send someone out to the hospital. I know how to do the paperwork. I know how to do the change of condition. I know how to call doctors. I mean, they might have to guide me to, like, where to go get the stuff, but I don't need someone holding my hand. And then that's what I mean. So I've always said that as your goal is to, should be is to be independent as much as possible. Okay, so um, that's four tips, right? three tips right there. Number four, during orientation, I think this is a good one that will set you up for higher rate or at least ask for a little more when you first ask for your rate. When you do your orientation and if they haven't hired you yet, um, I would say go balls out. And what I mean by that is so as you're doing your orientation, you're following that nurse, do as much as you can for that nurse because if you're already checking the blood sugars like I would do or I would you know do like orders already and just kind of i just kind of took initiative in, in a certain extent but obviously feel the vibe of the nurse if and then if she lets you i'm sure she'll love you for that um because they're gonna tell the d-o-n they're gonna tell that nurse there and then when you go there this has actually happened to me when i by the time i even sat down with the director of nursing she was like i want you i heard good things about you i heard you're already helping this this and that how much you almost basically saying how much you want and at the time i was young so i didn't really know what was a lot and i was making 21.50 and to me that was a lot of money okay that was a lot of money even when i'm making now is a lot of money in my opinion um you know starting at minimum wage so when i was making 21.50 and then i asked for that uh i asked for 25 and I, to me that was four dollars like, oh man it's a lot of money so i was nothing but happy for that so that made me happy um so I think that's the last one. And then number, the last tip that I can give you guys is don't get comfortable where you work. I've always said this, if one job doesn't want to pay you, the other job will. <laughs> and because nursing is a good job and, and this where it comes, don't burn your bridge because it's a small world. But I mean, if you leave for circumstances for yourself, everybody will understand that. Everybody's doing it for themselves in the end of the day, okay? And um, so go ahead and if one job doesn't want to pay you, and by the way, don't leave for two dollars. That makes no sense. Uh, if you're gonna ask and leave, if you're gonna ask me, I would suggest leaving for anywhere for four to five dollars. My opinion, just because you have to learn a new system. I mean, I left for eight dollars, which is a huge difference. Seven dollars, please do it. Um, it's that's that's so much more money that you'll make in your paycheck. So much little time less you have to work. Okay, um, and and. So I hope that makes sense. Don't get comfortable about a job because sometimes people get content at a job. And that's what kind of, from my opinion and from my experience, let me know what you guys think about this. I've seen nurses who stay there for such a long time at a job that when they ask for a raise, they don't really get a huge significant raise. I mean, I've seen some nurses get significant raises, but I've also seen a, for the majority not because they've been there for so long. So I've always said this, just leave and Go somewhere else, man. Don't be nervous. And this, and then this is where you apply the other things I said, like the orientation and and uh, being a good nurse. And um, I've always gotten that. So I, you know, and I, and I try to be nice to everybody and respect everybody. Um, you know, whether people like me or not now or not, I don't really care. Um, I'm here to you know do the best I can do as a nurse. And um, and I'm gonna run into one of you guys for sure on my YouTube channel. I ran into a few people actually, which is pretty insane. Um, and uh i'm in a whole different mindset now and trying to work harder it's you know so i hope this video helps you guys those are some tips that can help you increase your pay i'm currently ranking 45 i believe that's around 88,000. but that's not even including the amount of doubles i could do if i could it's just because with nursing school it's a little tough but just to tell you guys what my goal was when i first started nursing as an lvn and was on the path to becoming an rn as i am now um it was always to make as much money as i can so i cannot work as much and in case school got tough i can work less so and this is what i'm saying is like now i can work three days and make a lot more than i was making at 21 if that makes sense so i'm at to work a lot more hours like i did before at 21 to make as much as I'm, I'm making at 30 an hour before you know so um and if you're content at 30 and you love the place you love then stay there you know um it's not all about the money i realized but you know, uh, money does help you when you're with everything, right? Money makes the world go around whether you guys like it or not, whether we like it or not. Um, so, hope you guys like the video. Subscribe, share, and like, and have a good one. Peace.